In this video, I'm going to show you how to install the community installer for SmartThings, which is basically an app store. Hi, this is Justin from Simply Smart, where we make smart home technology as easy as one, two, three. So if you're interested in smart home technology, consider subscribing for more content like this. And what we're going to do today is that we're going to install the community free marketplace for smart things and that will allow for one click installation for smart apps and smart things devices the first thing we need to do is go to our smart things groove ide and i'll leave the link in the description so you can find that easily and what you're going to want to do is click your login button and you're going to sign in with your samsung account once you are signed in, you're going to want to go up and choose My Locations and choose your home location. Now once you have chosen your home location, what we want to do is go to the My Smart Apps tab at the top. And these are all of the smart apps that I currently have installed. Now if you do not see um, these menu items at the top, and it says um, connect to GitHub or GitHub integration. Just check out the video in the video description below. And I'll also put a card at the top so you could easily skip to that and get that set up quickly because that's very important to have that set up. So what we are going to do is the advanced installation method. And that is right here. And for advanced users um, integrated with GitHub, um, we're going to do this method. So we have these menu items here, and what we need to do is we need to get the owner, the name, and the branch over into our settings. All right, so we're gonna to go to our settings tab in the upper right-hand corner, click that, and click on add new repository. We're just gonna paste in um, this information here, and the branch was master. So once you've installed, um, the owner, the name, and the branch, just click the Save button. And nothing has changed yet, but what we need to do is go to Update from Repo, and we're going to choose that ST Community Installer that we just installed. Click that. And up here we have what we need is this one, this first one, which is the Community Installer. And we're just going to check off that box come down to publish, check off that box, and click execute update. And what that has done is it has added one new smart app and it has published that smart app. And that is this smart app right at the bottom here. And we need to do one other thing. We need to click on the edit properties and we need to go to open auth, enable open auth, Click on the update, and now you can see that it's created all of these codes for us. Um, that will be done automatically. Now you need to go over to your code tab here. Click on the save button. Click on the publish for me, and now we are good to go. So now we will have our smart app and it has our open auth um, set up and everything is looking good here. So now what we can do is we can go over to our SmartThings app. All right, so once in our SmartThings app, you just need to go to our marketplace, go to my apps, find the ST community installer and choose the account type that we're going to log in with. So click on that and click done and hit save. Now the ST installer is now installed and what we need to do is go back to our automation tab, our smart apps tab at the top. Now you can see that the ST community installer is showing in our smart apps. So if we click on that, you can um, choose which kind of browser you want to use. Just use the embedded, it's the most secure. And click on the bottom where it says Installer Home. 
and then you're just gonna sign in with the account that you checked off earlier. And once you're signed in, it's gonna start loading in all of the data. All right, so now um, these are all of the apps that are currently in the installer. Just go down so you can kind of see what they are. And of course, more will be added in the future. And there you go. Now, if we wanted to install one of these apps, what we would do is just find the one we want to install. So say we wanted to install the Echo Assistant. Let me just check on that. It's going to tell you a little bit of information about it. And down here, it's going to say um, what it's going to install. So it's going to install all of these smart apps for you. And it tells you which, which ones are the parents, which ones are the child's, which one are have um, OAuth enabled on. And it's going to do all of those steps all for you. So we're going to go ahead and click the install button. And now it is adding the repo, authenticating, getting the app data, installing the smart apps. And there you go. So now it shows you everything that was done with the checks and it says installation process complete. To exit the app, press back and save. So just hit the back button and hit the save button where it says add a smart app. Go all the way to the bottom, go to my apps. And here you see the Echo Assistant. Echo Assistant. Um, so you could go into here and you could, you know, set that up. Um, but we're not going to go into all of that. I just wanted to kind of show you how to install the community installer, how to install a community app, and how easy it is to get all of that set up. Well, I hope you found that video helpful. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comment section, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video.